Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Stone Shard. This game was released on Steam on February 6, 2020. Its trailer price is $16.99 Canadian, so it's probably like 15 bucks US or regional equivalent. And it's developed by Inkstains Games and published by Hype Train Digital. So this game is pretty unique. It's like a, a turn-based combat open world RPG. Uh, the combat's like a little bit like Divinity, kind of, but it's more like back and forth with your opponent instead of like uh, planning out your turns and doing multiple things in a turn. So I, I've played about half an hour of it just to... I always like to try and get through tutorials and stuff. Um, I did get through, through the tutorial, but as you'll see when we hop back in, I'm still in the tutorial. And what I've gleaned so far from doing the tutorial and finishing it uh, twice is that this game has a really cool concept, really cool idea, but it's implemented terribly. <laughs> so firstly, this game is unforgivingly difficult. It's, it's, it's really hard if you get surrounded by more than one enemy, you're dead. Um, this is just me finishing the tutorial, by the way. But I, I've looked at some reviews and it doesn't get any easier outside of the tutorial. But you know, dying wouldn't be too bad. Like Dark Souls, you die all the time, but that's fine. Thing with this though is that you can't save the game or anything, and when you die, you go back to the last time it auto-saved. So in this tutorial prologue dungeon, you just come back to the end phase of the tutorial and you have to go do the rest of the dungeon again. It's a pretty long dungeon, maybe not that long compared to other things in the rest of the game, but it's as far as I've managed to see. And apparently once you get out into the open world, the only way to save the game is by visiting an inn, paying in-gold, uh, in-game money, and resting there, and the developers have said, no, we we just we can't figure out how to make the how like you could save the game. So yeah, that was that was a little bit of a a, a ramble at the beginning. Um, I've I've done this bit multiple times. Like I said, I, I always appear here when I die. I've only died twice because um, like the first time I did it, like I got out, almost finished the almost finished the dungeon and then died uh, at some point and came back here. And then the second time it happened again, I just, I, I knew I was never going to play more of this game because it's too unfair. Um, these are skill books, because we're still in the tutorial, we just have to learn them all. Which will give us access to skills. For some reason those don't, like, carry over. So every time you have to uh, relearn every, every skill. I think that's it though. We looked in here. Yes. Okay, um, let's... Oh, we haven't looked at this one. Oh, do need all of these. Uh, I guess just before we go down, you press C to look at your character. It's it's really hardcore. It's a really hardcore game. If you look at health, it's a little bit like Fallout, where like if you step on a trap, your leg will be crippled. You have to you have to put a splint on it. You have to give yourself ether inhalers. You have to give yourself antidotes because if you heal yourself, you get poisoned. It's very hardcore. There's food, hunger, thirst mechanics. It's, I mean, it's a very, very like, hardcore, difficult game. Not for me, I've discovered. I thought it looked really cool. Um, but it, it just was not for me. So we're now out in the dungeon. It's procedurally generated. So all the rooms, all the enemies, all the loot is totally random each time you do it. So both times I've had to do this, it's been totally different. Oh, I see a rat. Can I hit him? We've got our, um, our pyromancy spell here. Bam! He is dead. Oh god, don't walk in the fire. Fuck. Oh, there's a zombie there. Or a vampire or something. He's not coming over here, so I'm just gonna walk away from him. Oh, I can attack him. Bam. Oh, we're bleeding, we're in pain. <laughs> oh my god, I might, I might just die here, actually. Oh, we got out. No, oh, I missed. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I don't think I have anything to help me not bleed. Okay, we're still in pain. I don't know how long that's going to last for. Uh, let's we press R, I think, to rest. We just sit here and heal. Everybody else moves around. So I guess like, the combat's a bit like, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, where you, um, you have like you can you can move. One space is a turn. You can attack as a turn. Let's try and find some loot. 
Apparently it's not even a good idea to find loot because it all like resets once you finish the, the tutorial. Which I have not done. <laughs> um, apparently you're just supposed to like grind on enemies. Which sounds horrifically unfun to me uh, at the best of times. But during a tutorial prologue, not brilliant. Shoot this guy. Bam. Oh, I fumbled it. Excellent. Okay, I leveled up, so press S. We can do a skill. Uh, I'm just working on pyromancy right now because you find like a lot of different melee weapons and ranged weapons, so I didn't really know what to to put up. So there's like a passive that helps this skill, so I'll take that one. Now we do a C. Let's go strength and willpower. They're they're pretty pretty obvious, self-explanatory. Oh, we are hungry now. Uh, sorry, thirsty. Let's drink from our water skin. I mean, those kinds of mechanics seem just, like, unnecessary to me. <laughs> Although, if I if I had the choice to get rid of one thing, I'd probably get rid of how difficult that is. Oh, healing self. Wow. Excellent. Out of range. Bam! We get away from him. Yes, die! Die! Nice thing is you can actually inspect them to see like what their health's at. 35% health. Die! We did it. Heroism, nice. Good falchion. Let's have a look at that. Uh, oh, why do I have these flowers? Oh, bog bean. Uh, where's the falchion? Did I not pick it up? There it is. How is this? 23 slashing damage. I'll take it. Die, rat. Oh. <clears throat> Poor fella. So that's a... Just a common sword. So maybe we'll look into doing, like, um, a sword skill. Although you don't have any passives right at the, far, uh, the start. Oh, what do we? No, it just gets rid of their condition. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a cleaving strike next level. Oh. Die. Excellent. Nothing there. What's up here? Is he actually dead? It looks like it. Oh, a nice hat. Geomancer cowl. Cool. I'll take it. Bam. I do like that your appearance changes when you put stuff on. Um, I've gone through a lot of different armors, though. <laughs> Uh, die. I guess it's like kind of roguelite e, Because you lose all your progress when you die. But that just is, doesn't seem very fun. In, a, in an RPG. Die. Nothing there. Uh oh. Burn. Die. Die. We did it. Is there anything else in here? No. Just some dead bodies. Okay, let's... Let's take it. Let's take Cleaving Strike. Let's take that on three. It just automatically goes on there, which is nice. And we'll go for more strength. So we're going for a bit of a melee build this time. Oh, we're hungry. Pretty unnecessary. Don't, don't need it. Let's eat that cheese. Oh, the rat! Just one-shot that rat. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. I think we just go down now. Uh-oh. Bam. I guess we're, like, accidentally grinding right now. Ah, uh, bat! Oh, I missed. He didn't even walk into it. Wow, this bat's fucking invincible. Let's heal up. Oh. Let's heal up. <laughs> we did it. Okay, we could go down. We're not going to. We're going to keep exploring... I don't think we need that. Just gonna keep a dagger in our offhand. Hello? No, I think we're gonna have to leave. I think that's the end of this dungeon. So we, we don't have a great build right now. I think we're still missing... Like, uh, we're just missing some gloves, I guess. Oh, we can drop that. Let's go. 
Okay, a little bit of story stuff here. Cutscenes are voiced, which is kind of cool. Uh, this guy will have a bunch of loot. Is this any better? It's kind of different. It's got better resistance, so I'm going to keep it in here. I think this is probably a lot better. Yes, so we'll swap that out. Uh, press space to take everything. Need to make. I don't really need the bow and arrow. I like to make room for this potion. May I just identify the potion? That's this is a little bit like Path of Exile, I guess. Potion of Stone Skin. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> it could literally turn my um my stone into skin. Oh, my stone into skin. The other way around. Let's go find the way to the next floor. Now, this is usually where I die, because these guys start getting a lot tougher. Let's just try and... Bam! Okay, now... Bam! Was that okay damage? I don't know. We did it! Don't need his fills. Heal up. Heal, thank you. Yeah, sometimes I think, yeah, I, I just get surrounded by, like, two enemies and just instantly die. Yeah, well, I think this thing, like, it's not a ton of damage, is it? Actually, it's not bad. We did it. Short sword, we don't need it. Oh, there's another, another enemy. Uh, die. We did it again. Crude falchion, I think that's what I'm using. It is. Don't, I don't even know if I can grab it. There it is. Uh, is there anything we don't need? Oh, we don't need these. Got to rearrange a little bit. There we go. Can I grab the falchion? Is it any better? No, it's the same. Go in here. We can auto sort. There we go. Oh, loot. Some gold. Wow. Oh, holy shit. That seems kind of cool. Let's take that. Fuck it. Uh, we'll keep that. Is this the same? Shiv. Shiv, yes, okay. I'm gonna be interested to see how this goes. Onwards. This way. Yeah, it didn't even occur to- oh my god. See, look, this is gonna be bad. It didn't even occur to me until I was doing this video that it's quite a bit like, um... Oh, Jesus. Like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh, can I not use this anymore? That sucks. Burn! Was that a lot of damage? Okay, it's quite a lot of damage. Ooh, Jagged Felchian. It would be nice if you could, like, look at it better. Because <laughs> I don't know if I want to drop this stuff. Let's drop the Crude Falchion. Oh, that is better. Die. Um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Maybe we'll, well, we're doing magic damage, aren't we? Get out of here. Uh, we don't need this. Surgeon's Toolkit. Can I make space? Not really. <laughs> this is too hard. Here are these flippin' diary pages. Okay. Surgeon's Toolkit. Why would you pick that up? Okay, we got the toolkit. Great, we can treat ourselves now or something. Let's go. Burn, bat. Get out of here. Ooh, mead. Gotta find room for this now. Let's go to that shiv. Can I, can I level yet? Oh, I did level, okay. More strength. Um, great swords, here we go. I'll take it. Can I not? I can't rebind these. Okay, apparently not. Well, this is the best I've done so far, it's got to be said. Oh, we can get out of here. I don't think we will. We'll keep exploring. Uh-oh. 
Oh god. Uh, I can't. Uh, cannot. Can't use abilities. There we go. Great. I need to drink some water or something. Nope. He's here. Burn. Fumble a lot, huh? Okay, this great sword seems pretty strong. Nothing in there. Some kind of staff thing. Nothing in there. What's up here? Uh-oh. Burn! Okay, ready? Four. Hiya! Pretty decent damage. Nice. Nothing in there, Jesus. Nothing in there. At least is a chest. Ooh, okay. Undefined chest piece. Let's do it. What do we got? Vigilant padded doublet. So less protection. It's got damage reflection. Let's put it on. Oh, everything has durability, by the way, so I assume everything will break soon. I haven't lived long enough to see it happen. Did I miss something in there? Uh, we've already got that. Yeah, we're good. Die! Ooh, let's heal up a little bit. Heal. Thank you. Um, God, we're maybe just ready to keep going. Maybe greatsword was the answer all along. I need that. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Uh, where was the exit? Oh, there's a chest there. Holy shit! I do want that. Uh, and that. We don't need a shield. They're kind of cool, but we don't need it. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, we're actually gonna finish the tutorial. Amazing. So, you know, we've been, we've been playing about 20 minutes now. If we wanted to save and go do something else, you know, like if if we, we had to, to go, like, leave the computer, go do something, we can't. We would have to quit and go back to where we were before. <laughs> For some reason. Which I think is silly. Oh, there's gonna be a boss, isn't there? Okay. Destroy the statues. Well, this looks spooky. Ow. Um, I'm almost dead. Am I just gonna die? <laughs> What's this? Healing salve. Use. Left hand. Die. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hope there was maybe a quick save just before the boss. That would be... Ideal? Yeah, there is. Okay. Fair and host for the best. <laughs> you can see how hard that is, right? <laughs> like, holy shit. Oh, I've got to do this again, do I? Okay, one step. So if I step back, okay. Let's go around it. Oh. A thrilling boss fight here. Oh, he healed. Die. Can I step here? Come on, let me let me get over there. Ow. Die. Can I see how much health it has? No, I can't inspect this one. Can I step back? Yes. Um, die, statue! <laughs> I don't know if that did anything. We did it! Die, zombie! Wow, it's very slow when there's a lot going on. That's quite rude. I don't think I have anything that can just, like, heal me. Health restoration, 2%, yeah. We could use our potion, I guess. 
Okay, that's good. Physical resistance, probably not great though. Okay, step over there, attack. Oh god, we're gonna do it, we're gonna get rid of his shield. Oh, I'm in pain. Yay, we did it. Can we fight him now? Uh oh. He's gonna be spooky. Okay. Is he, um... Hmm. He seems a little bit spooky. Die! Wait, let me inspect. We did 6% of his damage, not bad. Yeah! Well, that was not bad damage. Uh-oh. Die! <laughs> it's a little hop. <laughs> oh, he's quite easy to dodge, jeez. Uh-oh. What's he at? 62%. Step out. And then... Fire! I fumbled my magic. Well, I'm a bit hungry. Oh, he's gone. Whoops, I did not mean to step towards him. So if we step up here, he might go about there. Die. He's got to be almost dead. 38%, okay, still got a lot of health. Oh no, I'm right in the middle. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I'm out of magic, uh-oh. Uh, what's he doing now? Die. He's got to be almost dead. He's still at 31%, how? <laughs> Better run. Is that him healing up? 56%. <laughs> Excellent. Can I even get to him? Ow. Come back. You pussy. Burn. Yeah. 29%. Just about going down. Oh, he's just eating a corpse, so he's gone back up to 46%. <laughs> Obviously. Ow. Get out of here. Uh, is that safe? Yes. Come back. Die. We did it! <laughs> Yay. Oh god, let's get out of this story. Oh, they dropped stuff. Stone Shard. That's the name of the game, if you can believe it. I really need to eat something here. Nom. Give me that Stone Shard. Yay. Uh, I guess I have to go finish this quest or something. I mean, I'm not going to play any more of this. But I don't want to have to redo the boss fight if I ever decide to play it again. Right, the aesthetic's very like um, Graveyard Keeper, which was also a massive disappointment. <laughs> which also looked very promising, but wasn't. Okay, I think we're just in, like, in the open world now. Um, and it totally just like restarted our character. Yes. It did. Oh, well, we got some okay stuff, actually. Interesting. There you go. So that's that's how you save now. Exiting the game doesn't save your progress. Wow, and this permadeath. I didn't even see that. Oh, there's a drunk here. Um, there you go. That was Stone Shard. It's It sounded really cool. The screenshots make it look really cool. And I guess, like, it's not bad. It's just too hardcore for me. I think there's probably an audience for it, but like it specifically says when you finish like the tutorial bit, it's like you're not the chosen one, you're just a regular mercenary, um, anything can kill you, which 
I mean, I guess it's kind of like Dark Souls, but Dark Souls, like, you use your, your actual skill to not die. This, it's, like, it's, it's a bit of skill, I guess, like, planning ahead and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just not for me. It's another game that's not for me. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!